looking at this large excision that was made at the base of this tree to eliminate a defect. Now, what's happened is epicormic shoots, adventitious shoots from the base, have risen up. You see this strong stem it has come up at the edge of this wound. And it's already healed in from here. This was the original size of the wound was out to here and over to about here. So a good five, six inches in diameter this excision was. It's probably been about four years when the original cut was made. The tree has had a strong response. So now we've allowed this shoot to occur and you can see how much deposition of tissue has occurred in association with this root crown shoot. So we're gonna let this run a while longer. We wanna strengthen this healing response that the tree is having. This flare of cambium deposition is because of this shoot and this smaller shoot. So at some point, we'll remove this larger shoot and then maybe let this smaller one run a while longer so that we're not again making another big wound. Leave the smaller stem, let it continue to power this wound up and close this wound side up. And we're also going to mitigate against decay by again applying our wound dressing down here. Slow down the decay process so the tree can heal this wound. We're going to track this and see how it does. It's been about a year since we treated this wound last and we've got a very strong response. The tree is actively healing itself and we're assisting by using our plant terpene oil mix to slow the decay process down so the healing can outstripe the decay.